Hi everyone, welcome back and happy Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak for all who celebrate the fasting month. Have you ever had heard about the drum man, Abu Tabli, Msaharati? This person works only in Ramadan. It's a funny thing. He only works for 30 days or 29 days, depending on the fasting month. His job is to wake people for sahur. Sahur is a light meal that's eating before the sunrise. Uh, usually Muslims uh, eat sahur in order to help them to be able to fast the whole day. In the past, there, there are no watches or alarms that people use uh, or set their alarm, alarms uh, to wake them on time. That's why this job was invented and it's very necessary and important for all people at that time to wake up and eat their sahur. It was first invented and common in both Egypt and Bilad Asham. Bilad Asham is known as Syria and the countries surrounding it. His job is to, uh, he get, gets ready to go out and wake people uh, two hours after midnight, holding a small drum. He usually walks uh, in between houses or row houses, or walks all the street hitting his drum and same words, encouraging people to wake up, saying like, Yalla ya naim, wahid daim, just encouraging them to wake up in this time and take their, um, their light meal, sahur. This person usually knows all the houses and the names of the people dwelling inside. For sometimes he just called by names, waking, Abu Fulan, Abu Muhammad, and so on. Uh, people uh, usually love this character. It's very, very related and common in Ramadan. Uh, and they usually, uh, they are usually so generous uh, to this person, to Musaharati. Uh, so uh, he holds his small drum uh, and the stick that hits on and it, an empty ball. Inside this empty ball, usually people just uh, drop food inside this ball for him to either get his suhoor uh, or uh, break his fast. He ha this Musaharati uh, ends his job uh, on the first day of uh, Eid al-Fatr, the celebration that follows Ramadan. But this day is very, very important for Saharati. Why? Because he gets his idea or money gifts on the first day. He will do the same, follow all the houses that he usually used to wake uh, during uh, Sahur. Now he will hit on his drum, um, informing him that he is at the door for, he, for them to open and drop some money gifts for him. That's how he will end up the whole day collecting money as gifts from people. Uh, it's a way to say, thank you. We are grateful for you, grateful to you for waking us through the whole fasting month. What of today? We all have our own set or our own uh, alarms to wake up for Sahur. Even today, some people love this uh, character and encourage it that it's still, it's now just a tradition. Uh, his main role is not to wake up people because everyone wakes on his own time, but his job uh, is, is very important and essential as a tradition because Saharati is always connected to Ramadan, uh, 
that's the person that a lovely person, kind person that wakes people. Uh, he does it the same uh, as usual around the houses, but today with uh, uh, large cities, it's very hard to uh, track all the houses. He just goes one round or two round uh, um, in every um, uh, street. Uh, just for people to feel that we are still having our own Saharati that takes the role of waking us for Sahur. That's all I have for you today about Saharati. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in another video speaking about other things related to Ramadan. I'm thinking uh, my next video will be about famous drinks juices that are only made in Ramadan. I'll speak about these juices that are famous and related to Ramadan in Syria. Thank you all and see you the next time. Goodbye.